Okay, so I think today we are starting the uh, review of the not a Chins, but basically is a Chins uh, 200 amp hour Enjoy Bot battery. Topping it off right now, we <laughs> can only do 10 amps at 14.8, and actually it's not even putting out 10, it's putting out about, well, I don't know how accurate this amp meter is, because it's a little on the low side for this. Um, the A400, this is a little small for this guy. Oh, we're actually doing 10.5 now. There we go. All right. Um, that's the 4,000 watt Kriga, 4,000 watt inverter. Um, we're going to test this out too. So I'm going to go find a heater right now because I don't really have a way of testing this properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and set the DC side to uh, 100 amps, or I'm sorry, to 40 amps using a heater hooked up to the inverter and hopefully get in the area and try and do this uh, discharge at like 0.2C, uh, which is a five hour discharge. And it should be, what the book say, the 200 amp should be uh, 2560 watt hours so if we can hold 40 there we go um yeah so we'll uh we're gonna i gotta go find a heater oh, yeah we're definitely putting a load now we're pulling uh 40 amps dc into the inverter coming out this is what we're running we're running a heat lamp uh, I think it's a hundred watt. One blow up, two blow ups, that fan, that fan, that fan, that little yard light, that blow up, that blow up, that fan, and this monster of a 250 watt light bulb. Probably should move it away from that. That thing's putting out some heat. So that's what actually got me up to the, to the four. 40 amps um, so I know it's a little over I probably could kill for sure this one because that one was making a lot of noise so we're at the 40 amps I'm gonna turn this guy off let this guy catch up to top this battery off now that we know what it takes to draw 0.2c from this battery. Alright. Let's see how how long it takes it to recover. Because I was up at like uh, I don't remember 14 14 ish. So we're we're recovering kinda. Alright. Alright. So power supply cut off. Uh, right at 14.6, which is what this should cut out at. Well, I think it cuts out at 15, recommends charging up to 14.6. All right, we got our amp meter in place. We're going to use this phone for our timing. Yep. So we got a timer. I'm going to plug it in. <clears throat> Power this guy off, and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect at least one lead so that we don't. So everything's going through there, through here, out to here, to all the goodies out there. So start clicking this on, power it up, start our timer. Our time is 11:43. Our amp current draw is 40 amp almost on the dot which should be 0.2 C of a 200 amp hour battery <coughs> and what are we running a fan a heat lamp a big heat lamp another fan another light a couple more fans a couple another fan some blow-ups there we go <coughs> so hopefully it doesn't start raining our voltage has already dropped to 
Um, all right, let's see how this goes. Check back probably every like 30 minutes for now. Um, I don't know if this is going to cut off. I think it's supposed to cut off at 10 volts. So we'll kind of keep an eye on it probably about every 30 minutes. All right, so we're back here at 30 minutes. 13.1 volts. We're still pulling right at 40 amps out. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of high hopes for this thing actually hitting 200 amp hours at uh, 0.2 C. We'll see. I mean, that should be five hours. I haven't looked at any profiles for the discharge of this, but our cutoff voltage <clears throat> I believe I believe our cutoff voltage is 10 volts. Low voltage disconnect should be at 10.8 under volt at 12.4 so, yeah, <laughs> we're, I mean, we're, we're kicking down towards 13, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'll come back in another 30 minutes or so. All right, one hour into this test, we are sitting at 13 volts and still right there at the 40 amps. All right, we're just over two hours. Um, the fan on the inverter just kicked on. It's the first time it's been on that I've noticed anyway. It's pushing us up a little over 40 amps. But yeah, she's getting a little bit of heat to her. Um, probably also isn't helping that I moved everything inside. Well, a lot of stuff. It's getting a little scary of rain. So, yeah, it's uh, heating up. Yeah, yeah. 12.8. Just over three hours. And still pulling right at 40 amps. Yeehaw. Here we are. Four hours. 12.6 Still drawing 40 amps. I just missed it. Look, they are still deflating. It just cut off. Right there. And that was... This guy cut off at 11.6. Just under just under five hours um, well definitely if we would have pulled it down to 10.8 we'd have made it but this bad boy cut off so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna say they did just fine I'm going to go ahead and hook the bench top back up to it, charge it back up, and clean up my mess. Alright, so in case I wasn't clear before, here's the instruction manual. This is why I suspect this is a Chins battery, um, just rebranded. Enjoy bot, and boom. Chins. 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 So either they shamelessly ripped off the thing and forgot to change one page because they managed to change it everywhere else. Except for there's some text also, I believe, that mentioned Chins. Um, so either they shamelessly ripped it off and they don't actually have the same battery, or it is the same battery, and they just screwed up on this one page, on these two pages. Um, side note, <clears throat> I was running into this issue, and actually that's why I came back to the manual. Somewhere in here, 
it tells uh, you must be charging over 13.8 in order 13.8 volts in order for the battery to reach full charge. If you're below 13.8, you can't reach full charge. The BMS won't allow it, so or the BMS can't. So uh, some some RVs have you know lithium safe chargers. Um, mine rarely goes over 13.6 so I'm using a solar charger to top the battery off uh, solar charger where I can control the um, where I can actually control the uh, voltage cutoffs and stuff so yeah enjoy bot gins I believe they are one and the same although I have no further evidence other than the appearance and uh, their instruction manual Anyways, till next time.